All right, howdy. I am uh, going to do a little demo today of uh, two Wampler pedals. And it's not meant to be a full demo of either pedal because they both have a lot going on. But um, I have over the years had a lot of people mention it in my comments or mention to me personally that they think there's a lot of confusion between different Wampler products. <clears throat> and so I wanted to kind of go over what I hear is some of the differences in them. Uh, in particular, a lot of his uh, older amp in a box models um, seem to get uh, painted with the same brush. I have here a, a Plextortion, which I have done another video on, and I'm going to do another one because I have another one here now, um, where they actually do sound very similar. But here I have two pedals, um, neither of which is in production in this version, <clears throat> but this is the uh, original Pinnacle Limited, um, which was, I believe, the first time that he made the Pinnacle with the foot switchable boost. Uh, I think before then it was only available in the smaller footprint size, um, like this one, that had the boost on a separate toggle switch, but this was the first one to widen out the box and put it on a boost button. Um, as you can see, comparing these two, um, <clears throat> and this one's not new either, this one's several years old. This is before the uh, boxes were getting painted for silkscreen. These are, this is actually just a sticker that has all the control labels on it that's stuck right here kind of strategically. Um, so it's pretty early. I think they call this the Deluxe now. And it's also on a V2 version, which it's not. Um, so there's vintage and modern. And I honestly don't know which is which on this one. Um, based on the way that they're here, it's vintage and modern, vintage is up, modern is down. I think probably the vintage is the softer sounding of the two. So I think up is modern and down is vintage on this one. But um, I'm going to leave it in the up position, which is brighter. That's the main difference I can hear. What really makes this pedal work is the contour control. Um, and then the boost is really nice for a, a solo boost. Um, <clears throat> and also, you'll notice this pedal is old enough that it's got mechanical switches on it. Um, the newer ones of his stuff have these electronic switches, which are much less noisy uh, and easier to activate. So um, the triple rec was intended, I believe, to be a, um, a triple rectifier in a box. And the pinnacle is supposed to be the brown sound in a box or, a, or a, uh, you know, a hot rodded Marshall kind of sounding thing. Uh, I'm running today uh, an SG with, um, you know, kind of PAF level um, Almaco 5 pickups in it through a JTM 45 clone. So I've got it set up to be pretty clean. Here's the, the basic sound on the bridge humbucker with all the knobs up. <laughs> turn on the pinnacle first in the setting where I like it best um, which is a little bit less bigger louder than unity gain uh, on the up position of the switch which I think is modern contour a little bit for the mid side it gets more scooped as you go this way um, tone a little bit less than half volume <laughs> Marshall kind of sound. It's good for 80s and 70s hard rock.
that sound, I probably would actually have it more. <laughs> set it for a classic rock. And then you've got the boost solo feature which is nice. that I think I'm getting. I like to have a little bit of color. Okay, so that's the pinnacle. Um, now we'll move on to the triple rec, which confusingly has the on-off and boost in opposite positions. Also has a hard and a brutal setting. Um, and this one says it runs on 9 to 18 volts DC. If somebody knows that that's true of the older Pinnacles, I'm going to write and ask Wampler um, if that's true of all of them or only the newer ones. I didn't notice a big difference in sound in this one on 18 volts. Um, I have both available to me, but I've got them both running off 9 volts right now just to keep the playing field fair. Um, and this is intended to be kind of a triple wreck in a box. Um, so it's got this boost contour, it's got um, a volume, treble, middle, bass, three, EQ, three uh, band EQ, and then a gain knob, and then the hard and brutal switch, which is kind of similar to, I don't know, you'll, I'll let you hear the difference. But here it is at a basic kind of sound. <laughs> Setting. It sounds really a lot to me more like a Mark setting, a Mark uh, amp, for Mark III. In that, when you turn the gain way up, but the volume down, what you get is kind of a lot of mud. It over compresses so much you can't really hear anything. So if you take the gain back and then crank the volume up, so very similar to the way a Mark amp acts, and the controls are similarly very interactive. It's not one of those pedals where you can just turn everything to the middle and leave it and you know keep adjusting stuff up or you get actually kind of an unusable 
uh, amount of noise to it, really. So I'm going to turn it back to where I think it's more of a kind of a triple rec sound. And then I'm going to activate the boost so you can hear the difference there. playing but that's pretty much what I wanted to show they're not really at all I think very similar sounding pedals unlike a lot of other uh, of Wampler's stuff I think they actually have pretty individual no uh, sounds to them <laughs> similar settings they, they have uh, I think very different quality to them this one's much more mid scooped and got more high end on it than this one does this one is more what I would choose for a classic rock sound and definitely if I were going for a uh, more of a modern sound I would go for this one now interestingly enough they just reintroduced um, this pedal sort of um, <clears throat> they stopped making it and put out a pedal they call the Dracaris which again is in this kind of thinner form factor and there is a boost switch um, like on the original or on the non deluxe pinnacle um, instead of the foot switch here um, so I, I have one of those and actually uh, took it back because I thought it sounded too similar to this one when I turned this one on and put it on the modern voicing <laughs> Whereas this one to me still sounds very different. Really 